Well, despite setting numerous fastest laps in that first final, Sam Garford only lines up second to a supersonic Mark Laucom starting in pole position on the second row, Andy Cowell and Dan Butler. You can dispute his racecraft, but there's nothing short of his speed. Lee Clackett starts on the third row with Ben Yeomans. Final one winner, Kieran McCullough. On row four with Jamie Jenkins. Well, place your bets. This is the last race of the day for Premier Class. Round 14 from Rye House. Laucom leads across the start line. Garford is hung up on the outside. Cowell is through to second. Can Garford get back in line to take third? He's got it. Butler down to fourth. Under pressure from Lee Clackett. Garford keeps his powder dry, doesn't make a move for second on Andy Cowell. Will everyone get through the first hairpin? Well, Chris Powell's had a bounce across the grass, but they've made it. Charging up to pile on corner. Randall side by side with Darren Teal, gives ground. Anthony Teal making a move there on Brenton Miller in the midfield. Powell now putting a move on Brenton Miller. It's looking like a tough day for championship leader. He's well down the field here. So this is an opportunity for those drivers genuinely contending for the championship to make ground. There's one of them, Kieran McCullough, picking up fifth place from Lee Clackett. Ben Yeoman's with him, trying to take sixth. Laucom, just a tenth of a second ahead of Andy Cowell, Sam Garford, Dan Butler. Gap to Kieran McCullough, gap to Lee Clackett, Ben Yeomans, Jamie Jenkins. Garford's got a run on Andy Cowell, who's gone defensive into stadium. But he's left a hole big enough for a cart, and it's Sam Garford's cart, and Cowell's to the grass. Takes out the corn, but Butler nearly in the tyres. Well, that's worked out perfectly for Sam Garford and terribly for Dan Butler. He's dropped to ninth place ahead of him. Wesley Godwin, Jamie Jenkins goes for sixth. Ben Yeoman's trying to go with him. Wesley Godwin fights back. He's got the inside for the first part of pylon. Yeoman's over the paving stones. Can he get it done? He can't. Godwin hangs on to seventh place. And here comes Sam Garford. He leads into stadium. Trevor Randall putting a move on Dan Butler for ninth place, side by side. It's a double apex corner, and he's got the second apex. McCullough forcing his way past Andy Cowell, runs him very wide. No complaints from Andy Cowell, at least none that we can hear. Chris Powell and Darren Teal fighting over 12th place. Martin Bond and Brenton Miller fighting over 14th behind. Miller unable to make any progress and he's lost out to Stu Simons and is in danger of losing a position to Jonathan Lissiter and he's getting more and more frustrated. Bond puts a move on Bell for 14th. And that's left him compromised. And here comes Simon Lloyd to take advantage. He's through, 15th. Simon, 16th. Brenton Miller still stuck in 17th place. And he's under pressure now from Allwood. He's, it's coming from all sides. Well, we're a third down, on to lap six. Kieran McCullough sets another fastest lap. Lee Clackett has capitulated and waved Jamie Jenkins by. Garford, Laucom, McCullough, Cowell, Jenkins, Clackett, Godwin, Yeomans, Randall, Butler. That's your top ten. Simons picks up another spot from Chris Bell. He's up to 16th, Miller still stuck in 18th place. Under control for Sam Garford. 
Under pressure, Mark Lowcombe from Kieran McCullough. He didn't have an answer for him in the first final. Has Mark got one for Kieran in the second? Well, here he comes. It's the same place again. Down the inside. Can Kieran make it stick into hairpin two? Yes, he can. Mark tries to cut back tighter. Can he get a run off the corner? No, he can't. He's now checking out to see where Andy Cowell is and whether or not he can hang on to a trophy. Trevor Randall closing on Ben Yeomans in eighth. Cross start finish, can he get it done by turn one? Yes he can. Randall started 13th, he's been making steady progress. Yeomans loses out to Butler. And he'll lose out to Teal if he's not careful. Down the inside, Andy Teal. Oh, there's a lot of contact. The door was already half closed. And he might lose out to Chris Powell if he's not careful. Powell trying to run around the outside. And Anthony's giving him just enough room. Fair play. Powell up to 12th place. Trevor Randall's got a run on Lee Clackett. And Jamie Jenkins has got one on Andy Cowell. Well, Clackett's waved Trevor Randall around the outside. Perhaps Clackett's got a problem of some description. Jenkins looks to have the legs on Andy Cowell. Well, we're through half distance now. Sam Garford has got a 1.6 second lead over Kieran McCullough. The win turn's got a second on Mark Lowcom. The main interest is the battle for third here with Mark. Lowcom, Andy Cowell, Jamie Jenkins, Wesley Godwin and Trevor Randall are covered by less than a second. Powell puts a move on Ben Yeomans, that's for 10th place, if he can make it stick. Anthony Teal's gone in fairly deep, contact with Ben Yeomans, and he's lost out to Martin Bond. And Dan Butler's moved past Lee Clackett, that's for 8th place. Battle for third, Laucom under pressure from Cowell, Jenkins, half a car to Wesley Godwin and Trevor Randall. Whoa, Jenkins was locked up there going in. I'm not even sure if he meant to overtake him there, but he's taking the position. Cowell under pressure from Godwin and Randall. Well, Andy Cowell's held them off, shake of the head. It's helped Trevor Randall, who's got a run on Wesley Godwin. He's through to sixth. Well, Kieran McCullough's trimmed a tenth out of Sam Garford, which is great, but it won't be enough. If he continues at that rate, he needs to take a bit more. Powell makes a move on Lee Clackett, that's for ninth. Malcolm looking over his shoulder, looking to see where it's coming from, and it's coming from Jamie Jenkins. Jamie's got a good run off that corner. Has he got enough for turn one? I don't think he has. Randall now has moved on to the bumper of Andy Cowell. Well, it's been coming for a while, and Jamie's got a run on Mark Lowcombe now. Down with the hairpin. It's all done and dusted even before they get there. And Mark's lost out to Andy Cowell, who's put him over the curbs. And he's fallen behind both Randall and Godwin. Godwin trying to put a move on Randall at the second hairpin. Opportunist move. Hasn't worked. And Lowcombe could find himself losing out to Dan Butler.
Martin Bond puts a move on Ben Yeomans for 11th place. His next target will be Lee Plackett in 10th. Cowell doing his best to hold off Trevor Randall. Very defensive in the pylon. Well, Sam Garford's controlling this from the front. He's got the measure of Kieran McCullough, who's running out of laps if he means to close him down. Jamie Jenkins is full clear into third place, so the race now is for fourth. And Cowell's got the position for now from Trevor Randall. Butler's moved to the back bumper of Mark Laucombe in the battle for seventh. Brenton Miller still struggling. He's racing with Oliver Allwood for 19th place. Well, we're two laps from the finish of the second final. Laucombe's having a fight. Hammer and tongs just to hang on the seventh. Here comes Butler. Side by side and he's got it done. And Powell's coming with him. Laucom trying to close the door. But it was too late, he was out of the line. Classic Premier Sprints. If you lose one position, you're likely to lose two or three. We're moving into the final act of the second final at Rye House, round 14, Sam Garford has got a 1.5 second lead over Kieran McCullough, who's well clear of Jamie Jenkins. Can Andy Cowell hang on to fourth place? Or will Trevor Randall have it? He's coming from a long way back. They're side by side. He's run Andy Cowell wide. He's got a fight off Wesley Godwin to hang on to fifth. He's done it. Well, Trevor came from a really long way back, and you can see Andy Cowell's not too happy. But I think he can have no complaints. Sam Garford wins his first final of the season. Kieran McCullough, Jamie Jenkins.